You have no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. So what's going on, James? They say you're finished. What do you think? I think you're just getting started. Magnificent, isn't she? Zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. A few little tricks up her sleeve. Do one more thing for me. What do you have in mind? Make me disappear. Tell me where he is. He's everywhere. You should go there. You're crossing over to a place where there is no mercy. You're protecting someone. Get away from me! Why should I trust you? Because right now, I'm your best chance of staying alive. This organization, do you know what it's called? Its name is Spectre. And do you know who links them all? Me. Welcome, James. You came across me so many times, yet you never saw me. What took you so long? Is this really what you want? Living in the shadows? Hunting? Being hunted? Always alone? I don't stop to think about it. It was me, James. The author of all your pain. Wow! Wowie wow! Wow! That looks as good as Casino Royale, which in my opinion is still the best Daniel Craig James Bond to date, uh, directed by Martin Campbell. Uh, however, uh, Casino Royale is not the most successful Daniel Craig James Bond movie to date. Uh, that honor goes to Skyfall, the first James Bond movie to ever join the Billion Dollar Club, which was of course directed by Sam Mendes, who returns here. And when I reviewed Skyfall, I said that, uh, you know, while Christopher Nolan has said he wants to make a James Bond movie, too late! Sam Mendes already made Christopher Nolan's James Bond movie because he copied copiously from The Dark Knight for Skyfall. And while The Dark Knight Rises, uh, Nolan's follow-up to The Dark Knight, uh, in my opinion, and I think a number of people would agree with me on this, was not as good as The Dark Knight, it looks like Sam Mendes has uh, surpassed his master, uh, the student becomes the master, and has made a superior follow-up uh, to his version of The Dark Knight. It's almost as if Mendes kept all the artistic qualities uh, that make Christopher Nolan's blockbusters stand out, I'm including Inception in that uh, as well, down to the brown color palette, you know, the overall uh, brown tone to the uh, visuals, which is, you wouldn't think that would be such a hot dynamic choice, but it really works. Uh, but he's also added in the commercialism of Martin Campbell's Casino Royale. This looks like an important, dramatic film, but also a fun film. I'm going to do a shot-by-shot -shot analysis later today, so this is my initial reaction to the trailer, and my initial reaction is, I can't wait to see this. It has very stiff competition, uh, and I think that you know, of course I'm including Star Wars there, uh, and you know, a bunch of movies coming out this holiday season, uh, Hunger Games, the final Hunger Games, or at least the final Hunger Games in this series. Uh, but anyway, I'm curious to see if it can reach the Billion Dollar Club again. But it certainly won't be for lack of trying. There are so many little pieces of the puzzle that we're getting here. I also think it's interesting, by the way, that this is totally deviated from the teaser trailer, which maybe they feel gave away a little too much as to the potential twist of the movie. Uh, I'm not going to reiterate it here. Uh, I'll put a link to my uh, review of the teaser trailer at the end of this video because clearly they're stepping back from it, so I don't want to 
uh, ruin the movie if they feel that that knowledge ruins the film. Uh, but this is like a totally different, uh, usually when they do a teaser trailer, they just expand upon it for the first full trailer, but this is like a totally different trailer. However, with the whole Mexico thing, you totally know that's the opening of the movie, right? Every James Bond movie needs a flashy opening action sequence, and I think that's it, because uh, M, uh, now played by Ray Fiennes, is referencing that in the trailer. Also, the other thing that I want to comment on is that James Bond, uh, you know, first of all, I love seeing the old-fashioned James Bond gets a new toy sequence, right? I mean, like, we have not really seen that yet, and it's so much fun to see Sam Mendes and Daniel Craig's version of it. Uh, and also, of course, their new Q, uh, Ben Wyshaw, who also is uh, the voice of Paddington Bear, for those of you who were a fan of that film, like myself. Uh, but anyway, James Bond shows how important it is to be popular at work. Because even though M is like, stop doing that stuff, you have no authority. Uh, although maybe this is all part of M's master plan. But then James Bond just goes behind his back with Money, Penny, and Q, and he's like, help me out, guys. And they're like, Bond is fun at like the holiday Christmas party, so I want to be his pal, I'll help him out. Uh, but you know what, maybe this is, again, just M's the stick, and Money, Penny, and Q are the carrots. But I am incredibly impressed. Uh, I didn't think they could top the teaser trailer, but I feel that they did, and I'm super excited. I feel this just became an even bigger player for the holiday season, uh, but it's going to have to be to survive. So what do you think? I'm curious to hear your initial thoughts down below in the comments, and stay tuned for that shot-by-shot -shot analysis later today. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.